Hey, intrepid viewers, and welcome back. Oh, we got battle damage. What do you guys say about this? Everything okay? Yep. No response, ignoring you. Probably didn't get flattened, everything's cracked. I suppose I could go check on everybody, but I don't care. Time for the longest to journey yet. Let's see, the entrance to the train station should be hidden in a cave to the southeast of Whiteforge. Train station? I thought I had to walk. Well, isn't this fancy? South East. So gone south. What do you say? Fair voice. Is it true what they say? White Forge City's been attacked? Well, in times like these, it's good that we can focus on the things that really matter, like um, nature and hiking. Hmm. Anyway, safe travels, Aleph. Yeah. You're not helpful, bub. Is there a cave around here? Is that a cave? Aha! Found it! Caravald. Oh, look at that cool old school train. This must be the train station to go to Caravald. Looks... Functional? Shall I make the trip? I probably won't be returning home until my mission is complete. Yes. Alright, got to start the train then. I feel like I missed out on stuff in the library. Let's see here. Dr. Watsnick gave me detailed instructions on how to operate this train, so if I just follow this order, I should be on my way. Okay, presses buttons. Hmm, that sure did something. Pulls Levar. Ah, okay. There's a diagram of the continent with Whiteforge, and what I'm assuming is where Caravald is. Looks like the outer continents consist of two large continents, and I'm heading straight to the southern one. Estimated time of arrival? Whoa, that's fat. Oh, it's moving. Here I go! Uh, I wonder if that means we are going to actually get to go to the north one. Are we under the water right now? This is very... It reminds me of the tram between Stormwind and Ironforge. Well, it must be near Carvel now. I should be at the southern continent station. Or is Whiteforge in the northern, northern continent? Who knows? Uh, first thing I need to do is find the city and use the radio tower to contact Whiteforge. Find the city. What city? Is it a ruins of a city? Is that a ruins, right? If... Maybe the current on that. If I head straight east, I should be able to get to Caraval. Straight east. Uh, you lied? There's trees in the way. Unlayable. Caraval Government District. We got dirt. We got cars. We've got... Cars on dirt. Fade to black. Is that their equivalent of our sun tower? Oh, it's the Sears Tower. Oh, getting topical. It's the Planet of the Apes going on here. If I'm not mistaken, this looks like it might be the radio tower. Caravald's the equivalent of the Sunray Spire. I wonder if the signal is strong enough to contact Whiteforge. That will be my first order of business. Carvald, the ancient city. Well, are we gonna have enemies? So far, the only like enemy we've encountered in the game has been uh, those kind of ghosty thing. Can I use computer? Hmm. Let's see. This must be the radio console. I wonder if I can turn this on. By oh, good. That works. Let's see if I can find my way around this interface. Hmm. Tap tap tap. Beep. And input the correct frequency. Hello, Whiteforge. Can anyone hear me? Whiteforge, this is Aleph. I've reached the Caravald Radio Tower. Static. Good. Hello, Whiteforge. This is Aleph. Aw, oh, dang it. It's getting through. Aleph! And you made it! I'm putting Dr. Wadsnick on the line! Aleph, while well, surveying some records we brought back in our first expedition to Caravald, I found reference to a highly secured government office on one of the higher floors of the Radio Tower. See if you can find a way to search the higher levels. Okay. The main paths are blocked by a lot of rubble, but I'll see what I can do to get higher up. Over and out. This door. There's a couch in this break room that looks reasonably comfortable. I can sleep here later. I'm actually kind of uh, happy that they established that. But that means I'm going to be here for more than one day, which I'm less happy about. Maybe this is the office Dr. Wojcik was talking about. Let me see what those notes, what those notes and diagrams are all about. Hmm. Hey, looks like this is it. Received three maps to the bombs silos and maps of the Carvald continent. Better tell Dr. Wojcik. Let's drop. Why are there so many platforms? Actually, there are less going down. I feel like. Hello, hello, Dr. Wojcik, Mayor Biggs. I think I may have found what we're. Looking for. What is it? According to this document, the Karavaldish developed three types of explosive devices, each type targeting the chemical makeup of a specific geome. 
They then send operatives inside the geomes themselves to place the bombs in crucial weak points. Apparently this is enough to destroy the geomes, although one operative failed the mission. Intriguing indeed. Do you have the explosives? No, the bombs are held in three different silos hidden throughout the center. The outer continent, sorry. But I was able to find map fragments showing the location of each silo. I should be able to find the bombs and then bring them back home where we can plan our next move. Actually, we believe the geomes are coming to you. Our sources saw them retreating east to the outer continents after the attack on Whiteforge. We believe they are currently recharging from their weakened state, so it would be an ideal time to strike. Aleph, we need you to retrieve the bombs as quickly as possible, then head directly to the geomes. Their immense size should make them easy to spot from afar. Right now, you are located on the southern outer continent. Take note that to get to some of the silos, you may need to get to the northern outer continent via the train station you arrived here at. Oh, great. We believe in you, Aleph. You've shown that you have what it takes. Oh, that's the, oh, the mayor. Oh, well. Okay, thanks for the information. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. So it looks like there's probably going to be six more levels, I'm guessing. One for each silo and one for each geom. That's certainly what it sounds like. We'll see if that is substantiated or not. Hopefully they're... I'm curious how long they'll be, actually. They think it's even longer. Uh, Bust out some maps. Earth. Bomb silo. Okay, looks like... That. Let's see, Carabald South. Air bomb silo. Sea bomb silo. Wait, did air and earth look the same? Oh no, earth over there, okay. <clears throat> well, those aren't super specific, which is great. They're actually a good. Oh, wait, here they go. Ha! Here? Here. Here. Where was it? Oh, I'll bust the map again. Earth bomb. So there's a little bit of trees and a dot below it. Okay. A little bit of trees. This isn't it. This is it. This is it. There we go. Earth bomb silo. That's like, this is kind of cool. As I was saying, it's a it's a it's a bird, I guess. It's a good, not explicit map that provides a little bit of a puzzle without just being like, uh, brute force it. Good luck. Find everything. Oh gosh. That's gonna get hard. Real fast. Boom, you bumped me. Ooh, <laughs> my head. That hitbox, my pixely hair. This music's cool. Or chill. Let's see. I want some green. Yeah. Charge it. Don't touch that, don't touch that. Okay, fine, touch it. Let's touch this first. Ugh. Ugh, well, it worked out in the end. Maybe I should just be running into things, like, maybe... That should be my new strategy. Let's just run into things. Oh dear. We're a little in the green. Being in the green is actually bad in this game. I mean, if it's... Not deliberate. We need more in the green. I need more purple. Purple! This is going quickly, at least. Dodge it. Or not. Dodged it. Dodged it. Cool. I like how quick this is. I mean, it's like, it's, uh, not like quick as in short and brief, but quick as in... Feels fast paced. Is this the end? Of course not. Oh, but this is the last series of rooms? Poof, poof. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted at all. Ugh. There, okay, charge that. Get some more green. Listen to this music. Look at that, look at that solo. Kick it. A little bit of purple. This is reminding me of it. reminds me I had this game on my Kindle. Uh, it's kind of just like a spot the differences game. But for some reason the music is super similar. Hua. Okay, I need green. I need green. I'm in the purple. Save, I guess. Can't open the door. Can't open the door. Get some green, yeah, yeah, it feels good. 
That's not what I wanted. Oh no! I did it. One more bounce. Ugh. Ugh. No. Ugh. Ugh. At least they cancel each other out. Okay. Be careful if he does it. Okay. One door down. How do I open that other door? Boom. Oh, I need purple. Let's balance ourselves on the way out. Okay, we'll be a little bit green. Or... Oh. Bounce on here. Hua, hua, made it. Hua, hua, made it. Let's... Where's the wise? Oh, I see. This door goes down. Got it, got it, got it. I was not fully grokking the door situation. Okay, I need a little more purple, which I can get here. A bit too much purple. Way more purple than I wanted. Okay, we're balanced. That's gonna drain it. Now I want a little more purple. There's no pleasing some people. Ugh, more green. Too much green! Pretty good balance. Take it. And yeah, that's a pretty good place to leave. Let's open? Yeah, save. And drop. What is this? A bomb? Finally, the weapons. They're small bombs with an instruction manual and a small mechanical apparatus. I guess I can finally try and take down a geome. Let's see. Looks like these are for these are for use against a geome in some planes. You just mean the earth geome. The bag has a picture of rocks on it. Received earth bombs. Well, that about does it for the silo. Better make my way out and to the geom. Thank you for not making me walk my way out. And it's interesting, I was assuming I'd get all three bombs and then fight all three geoms. But it looks like we're going to do bomb geom, bomb geom. I would very much. Hey, you're a geom. Karst pass. This music is too peaceful. Suspicious of it instantly. That tree is cool though. Oh, I can't remember those trees are called in real life. There's a smallish plant that looks similar to it, called Elephant's Foot. But I don't know what the trees are called, but I really like that look. Hmm, I can see the Earth Gym in the distance. I'll have to find some way to climb up onto it. Uh, in Wildstar, there's some pretty cool, like, house landscaping options. Uh, and I had a lot of similar looking trees around. Okay, Earth Geom, prepare to meet your doom. Karst Pass, solitary and strong. I don't like how his hands, though. Quadrupeds with fingers. Not my cup of tea. Sorry, furries. Whoa! You're even cooler! Look at that little badonkadonk, shake it! You got a mane, you got some sweet horns, can I land on your head? No. Oh man, you're cool. You guys are all super cool, well, I'm gonna go kill your dad. Your god, or I don't know, whatever. That's what's gonna happen, isn't it? This, this the morality of this tale is gonna be: we beat the crap out of Mother Nature, and now we must pay the consequences. It's gonna show real sad pictures of like <sighs> dying animals and stuff. Oh, I dodged it. It's a good. Hey, what are you doing here? Like, oh my gosh, is that a person? Um, hello. Ah, coffee him. Ech, you sure gave me a start. How'd you get in here? Did Wart Forge reopen the tunnel ways? No, not exactly. I'm the only one here on a special mission from White Forge regarding that huge geom creature. Ach, geom you call it. Incredible creature. Sure as a puzzle figuring out how to categorize it. Seems to be animal, vegetable, and mineral at once. Do they plan on turning it into a power plant or something? Knowing White Forge, you're not a biologist or naturalist coming to study in for the sake of knowledge and understanding. I am a power plant technician, but I'm actually here to incapacitate the geom. Uh, you mean murder. Along with the two other- along with two other geoms, it attacked and nearly destroyed Whiteforge. Do you know of any way to climb up into its main body section? <laughs> An attack on Whiteforge, eh? <laughs> That's not a surprise. I'm truly sorry that Whiteforge feels the need to fight such a rare and fascinating being, but I suppose you've got to do what you've got to do. Well, you won't have any an easy time climbing to the geom's steep forelegs, but if you could get up past those somehow... I saw some geysers nearby that can propel me pretty high, but not high enough, unfortunately. Ah, well, there's an idea many of the geysers out there are attached by deep underground fissures. Maybe if you blocked some of the spouts, you'd be able to focus all the water pressure into a single, more powerful geyser. Here, you can borrow my shovel to help you out. Let me know when you're done. Okay, Aleph received a shovel! 
shovel is the best weapon of all time. As demonstrated by the shoveler. <laughs> One of the best heroes of all time. That's a hole. Dig, 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 dig. Ah, maybe I can use Jane's shovel to move these stones on, in, onto the geyser spouts. That should plug things up. One, two, three. <sighs> all plugged. I'm plugging this one too. No, that one's not pluggable. I plugged one. I cannot get past this tree, or is that a four leg? Did I want to plug that one? Hua! Is that even higher? It doesn't seem higher. What if I interact with it now? A heavy flat stone. Okay, well, I cannot interact with it now. Let's go see if the other spouts have rocks by them that I just didn't notice before. They do! Plug, plug, plug. One, two, three, humph. I don't know why you're counting to three. It's not like you're trying to synchronize your efforts with anybody else. I think I'll have enough geysers plugged after this one here. I should go back to the to let Jane know. One, two, three, humph. And then the world exploded. Of all the pressure. All the trees just like popping out of the ground. I stopped up some of the geysers with big stones, thanks to the shovel. Now we just need to sit by the geyser and wait for the geom to pass by. It usually makes the rounds once or twice a day. The rounds? It's on patrol? What's going on here? Here's a bit of root salad, my diet's pretty simple. Thanks, it looks delicious. Is this my new love interest? So Jane, you've been here since they closed the tunnels. Yes, that's right. Oh, wow. I've moved around a lot, though. Er, yes, over the years, I'm a naturalist, you see. I study organisms and their environments. It was my big break coming on the expedition to the outer continents. Countless species unknown to our civilization. Totally unique environmental conditions, but... The expedition was cut short before we could hardly dig in. Something about budget risk distribution. I couldn't... Sorry, I hit the button too fast. Couldn't just leave, I seemed to be saying. And they just left you here. I chose to stay. I knew my life's work was here in these outer continents. Initially, I kept in pretty regular contact with Whiteforge via the Caravold radio system, but eventually they stopped showing interest in my updates. And I started working further and further away from Caravold. I suppose the work has always been enough for me. Even if there doesn't seem to be much of a point or greater impact. Yeah, hmm. Wait a minute, this is reminding me of a conversation I had with Wadsnick when I first learned about Caravold. Wadsnick, eh? I remember Anatole Wadsnick as a dead serious baby-faced kid. But I guess now he must be an old fart like me. Yeah. He said that the expeditions were cut short because of what they learned about the Geoms having attacked Caravold. They focused on domestic infrastructure and defense in the hopes that they'd be able to defend against the Geoms if Whiteforge was attacked. What? Why that little... Hmm. <laughs> Men and their grand schemes. I knew something was going on that they weren't telling us. So those were the budget redistributions. It's all making more sense now. Caraval's fruit destruction must have spooked the leadership team, and I'm, but instead of trying to learn more, they just retreated to what, what they know best. Towers and guns. So it's a good thing to know. You know, if I used to think they really cared about understanding the natural world, I used to think everyone cared. Then we're all part of it. We're all interconnected with everything. But the more I tried to get people to understand my work and its relevance, the more I realized people don't really see it that way. For a lot of people, everything that's not the city is nature. Some monolithic and exotic ideal. Good for a vacation, scary when it acts up. If they'd let me have my say, I'd have... well... I guess they didn't, and there's no point in me taking your head off over it. Not at all. I mean... I wish you'd been on, in on some of those earlier conversations. Maybe you could have helped. Maybe we wouldn't be in this situation now. Ah, well... I appreciate this sentiment, kid. Oh, looks like you'd better get in the position to jump soon. Geom is rounding the bend. Hope you make it through this safe end. Uh, if you have got the time, stop by before you leave. Yeah, of course, I'll stop by. Thanks, Jane. I'm actually kind of surprised she's helping me right into his groin. Poof. There's a little statue here. Oh, weird moving things. Okay. That was this episode. Next episode, we're going to be going through the bowels of the beast. Signature catchphrase.